This is a simplified guide to identifying the female ginkgo tree and ginkgo nuts. These are cleaned ginkgo nuts after gathering. This is what you end up with if you want to plant them or if you want to use them for food. Now in North America you will find that the vast majority of ginkgo trees are male trees and the reason for that is they're usually used for landscaping purposes and the female ginkgo tree produces the fruit. The problem with the fruit is outside the nut it contains a fleshy part that is very messy, makes a mess on the grass, but it also has a very pungent smell that smells like a slightly bad feta cheese. And so most ginkgo trees sold at nurseries are clones of males. However, the trees basically look identical, a male and a female, except when there's the fruit in the fall or if you can see the flowers early in the spring. To find ginkgo nuts, you'll need to have a mature tree. And this is what the trunk would look like on a mature ginkgo. Medium gray, and furrowed. And here's a close-up picture of the same trunk. Ginkgos almost always look like that. There tends to be fairly little variation. Also, when you look up the trunk of a ginkgo tree, especially a mature one, you'll notice that where the branches come out, right below where the branch meets the trunk, you will see a groove or like a ravine shape. It can be actually surprisingly deep and it runs vertically down the tree. What makes identifying a ginkgo tree fairly simple are the very unique leaves. For one thing they are fan shaped. Sometimes with a single split in the center at the edge of the leaf giving them a cloven hoof look. Occasionally there's more than one split. All the veins in the leaf originate from the stem and go straight to the edge of the leaf the veins never branch out. The leaves come in clusters from points on the branch. Sometimes there's occasionally one leaf. The clusters of leaves are alternate on the branches. So at one point you'll have a cluster of leaves and then further up the branch on the opposite side will be another cluster of leaves. Then further up the branch on the opposite side will be another cluster of leaves. The sides of the leaves are smoothed edged, but the end opposite the stem can be variable forms of bumpy and wavy. Now here's a picture of a ginkgo male flower amongst the clump of leaves early in the spring. If you're looking for a ginkgo tree to note for the fall, if it has that, it's no good. This is a female. You can see the female flowers are quite different than the male flowers. So if you're out in the spring and you see a ginkgo tree with these flowers, take note that in the fall it will produce fruit. And this is what a ginkgo looks like in the fall when the fruit is ripe and ready to fall. The leaves are either a light yellow to a slightly orangey yellow and the fruit is a tangerine yellow to orange color with a whitish powdery bloom appearance. The fruit is about the size of a large cherry it um, has that fleshy outer part. You gather them when they fall to the ground on their own and you remove the fleshy part before you put them in a bag or a bucket to take home and wash further. This is what it looks like when you've removed the flesh. Use gloves when doing this. The flesh contains chemicals that can cause a, a burning sensation on the skin. When you get them home, rinse them very well under cool to medium warm water dry them off, store them in a cool dry location. You can use these for food or you can plant them. In the description below are links to web pages that have complete descriptions and more information.